Hello and welcome to- oh my goodness I got in a fight whilst we were on the other screen. Hello and welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Rosie and today I am joined by Rob. Hello, what a classic start to a stream that is. <laughs> Straight into a fight. <laughs> and also I am joined- well we are joined by a very very special guest who has joined us once before and we had such a wonderful time that we have invited Hello. him back. Yes it is Greg Chun of course. What's up everyone? Greg, how are you doing? So back, Greg. It's the sequel. It's the sequel to the last Judgment stream. And we're playing the sequel to Judgment. It's 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 yes. perfect. It's it is perfect. It's a perfect day. Thank yes. you for having me back. Thank you so much for joining us. It's an absolute Absolutely. pleasure to have you returning to the stream. Um so yeah, Rosie, you're you've been playing Lost Judgment. I have and indeed. And you are you are loving it. Yes. From what I hear. Um Obviously, we will hopefully be asking, well, we will be asking Greg a few questions throughout the stream. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Greg um, about his role in the game, Greg Chan obviously voices um, the main character, Yagami. Am I pronouncing that right, Rosie? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, we can ask Greg as well. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so please feel free to stick some questions in the comments if you have any questions at all. Um, but we're just going to be, well, Rosie is going to be showing off some fun open world events and activities. And we're just going to be having a, a cool, chill time. I mean, I mean, Beautiful. What's better way to start off than by eating? Because after being in that fight, I lost a bit of health. So I was like, okay, open world, let's have a strawberry parfait. Is that how you pronounce it? Par no. Yes. Parfait. 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 Thanks, parfait. Yeah, like like the French. That's the one. See, and then, oh, great tea. Nommy, nommy, nommy. But this the is first... perfect because I actually have <laughs> breakfast here so I can give you sound effects. Amazing. The first thing I wanted to ask you, Greg, was actually related to that. Obviously, you're, you're recently back from the drive-thru and I was curious yeah, what right. your what your preferred... Tasty, McDonald's nice. order is, and I think I think everyone would like to know as well. Oh yeah, no, it's important stuff. I have a sausage McMuffin, and then nice. the hash browns and coffee. Like nothing complicated. It's all good. Oh, so Pretty, the... I'm not difficult at the drive-through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the classic. That is the classic combo. That isn't it? McMuffin. Yeah. Anybody hash who can get difficult at a McDonald's drive-through with like particulars, I kind of want to know what they're doing. It'd be kind of interesting. I hate it as well. Whenever I'm in the drive-through, I'm always behind someone who hasn't decided what they want yet. And they get to the front and they're like, um, I don't know. And they have a big discussion about it. It makes me furious. Mm -hmm. Be organized at the drive-through. Exactly. Exactly. Don't do the whole thing where you drive up and you're like, now what do I want? Exactly. Yes. That's why I don't go into drive throughs <laughs> that often. Because I'm always paranoid. Like, you know, I'm in my car and I'm like, oh no, I'm holding people up. What do I want? I can't see the menu properly. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. You don't need a menu. You don't need a menu at McDonald's, Rosie. I do, because I keep on changing my mind on what I want. <laughs> so you're the one that Rob's talking about. You are yeah. the person who's in front of him who infuriates him at the drive thru. Yeah, that's me. That's why I'm just keeping okay. silent. I'm just like, this is why I don't go to drive thru. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say hi to everybody in chat who's I see all these lovely hello messages and stuff and I wish I could respond to every single one but thank you everybody it's so wonderful to be here great to see you yes of course and we also should... we should thank as well Domino um, 2097 who I'm going to give usually we just say Domino I don't know why you oh, yeah, full name full, you, you full named him full you named full him na I'm shocked and as well as Oliver Bath who we always call Oliver Bath because he is Oliver Bath um, thank you guys That's so same. much for being our wonderful moderators for this stream and hello to everyone in the chat as well. I've seen a question already, Greg, um, that is a serious question and relates to your actual work. And I've often wondered this as well. K Bo has asked, on average, how many times do you have to say the same lines when you're recording dialogue? Ah, huh. you mean like how many takes do yeah, you, how, do, how you many do? How many takes? And is there like a line that you can specifically remember sticking out that you just had to say over and over and over oh let's see okay so typically if you're on your game and stuff you just have to do one or two and one of them will be kept if for some reason you know that's sort of like the general flow of it yeah um if you know you need a redirect or it isn't quite exactly because the director has the larger picture in mind of where this 
line fits into the story and how the other character said it and all that kind of stuff because we're not yeah. recording with the other character's line. So, oh my gosh, that was awesome. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> that Rosie. was awesome. Yeah. I thought I could I mean, get look away at the with recovery, that. though. Look at the recovery. It's, it's like you went directly at it. It's like you you were you were not a, you actually were trying to hit it. That was that's why you mission accomplished. I was Bravo. trying to do a cool skating maneuver of going, you know, like and swerve it around it, and it was very graceful, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> but um you know if there's a redirect and sometimes uh, for whatever reason you know the director and you you as an actor are not are, are not getting on the same page you know it can be four five six seven takes you never know um and then there are there are lines that for other reasons like there are lines sometimes where you laugh and you cannot get rid of the giggles um and <laughs> yes. i've done i've done i've done a line maybe 30 40 takes because i couldn't get through without laughing and i mean it's hilarious it's a good time in the studio one time i actually had to kick the this was on a different project that was a little bit more um a little bit more uh risque than this project and um i actually had to have everybody leave the room i asked the client the director and the engineer to leave just leave the mic rolling <laughs> and i said i'll get the line you know after i hear a few that i think are keepers then you all can come back in and so I literally did probably 30, 40 takes and and finally got something that we could use. Wow. Oh, yeah, that sounds... I, I would be the exact same. Like, if I get the giggles, you know, I can't stop. Also, I've just got to ask... It's impossible. It's impossible. I have to quickly ask, though, I've got to name this adorable kitty. And, Greg, Ooh. I'll give you the honors. We have a choice of three. Uh, we're going to have to go with Frenchie, I'm afraid. Frenchie. Hello, Frenchie. <laughs> you are my new cat friend. I mean, cats. Cats what? feel like they've got. They're having a real. I mean, not that they ever went away, but a real resurgence, especially in video game. Every video game's got cats in it at the moment. Oh yeah, it's a it's a cat heyday. Yeah, as it should be. But not only have you got cats in this game, we also have a little a little detective friend as well, who I will be showing as well. It's not all just oh, about the cats. <laughs> is um is the skateboard new for this? For Lost Judgment, Rosie, because I don't remember you using the skateboard in the previous game. It is new, yeah. So you unlock it uh, quite early on in the game, and you know you can only use it on road. So if I go on a footpath now, Yagami will jump off of it. So you can only use it on the roads, but it's just a really quick and simple way just to you know get to and from where you want to go. You know these goons over here, the rapscallions, just going to skate on past them. No also, worries. Also, just the lighting effects on the jacket. They're so good. Yeah, I have to say it's as well. It's so satisfying watching that sort of rippling in the wind and like the the rain, the rain droplets on it. I Yagami's it. a bit beaten up right now, but please ignore that. He's just <laughs> he just woke up a bit bad. Whose fault is that? It's, let's just say, it, no, it no one's. You know, we don't use the word rapscallion in America in casual conversation enough. Well, right. well, we don't use we don't use it in the UK. Um, that much either. <laughs> I think it's just Rosie. It's a Rosie thing. Okay. It's a Rosieism, okay. for sure. I don't know why. One just, of many. It's a good word. It's just rapscallion. Yeah, you know. Fight, 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 fight. Boosh. This Delinquent is also students. This is a new, um, also a new fighting style in this. So you had a uh, crane and tiger before, and then the green one is now crane, which uh, snake, sorry, which is really good for yeah. like. Oh, I mean, Greg, can you tell us about it? Well, what I was told is that it's a lot its a lot less, like, full-on striking and more kind of uh, holding and kind of using the opponent's momentum against and that kind of thing. I don't know. I've not played it yet, but, it, yeah, it does look like it involves more holds and throws. That's it's really cool. Yeah, so it's great for, like, you know, if you've got a, someone who's just constantly attacking you, you can, if you time it right, let's see, let's see if I can... Ow. It's because I'm talking at the same cut. Come here, buddy. Punch or me. Or if you have a conscience about beating up children, Boom. you know, then, then it's a good one to use. He picked the fight with me. <laughs> but um, so you can like, you know, if a character comes and punches you, you can just maneuver away from it and then punch them in the back. And also if characters have weapons, then you can disarm them by grabbing them, like you said, Greg. And then if you press a button prompt, then they drop the really? weapon. Really? Mm-hmm. That yeah. is awesome. I'm loving snake fighting mode. It's probably the one I'm using the most right now because you know what, you know, characters in uh, these games can be like just always attacking with like weapons and everything. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. like, Boop, drop that, please. Thank you very much. Now let's use our fists. I know. If only we could have had that with Cane Man. Get that freaking cane out of his hands. Yeah. 
Oh the, my God. Um, the the skateboarding thing. I wonder if it's gonna uh, if it's gonna put a a, a a crimp a cramp a crimp in my style with navigating the streets. Because normally, as I run around, I try and run into as many people as possible. And if I'm on the skateboard, it might not let me do that. I'm a little scared. You can still so. Oh, tell you what, let's try it out now. Who's going to yeah, be our unfortunate victim? So you, lady. <laughs> here we go. So you can oh, run into it people. knocks you off? Yeah, you, you get knocked off. Um, oh but I mean, gosh. you still can, and if you can time it right, you can jump into people as well. So, oh, I timed that wrong. So I timed Dwayne, that. Dwayne Johnson has just said hello to you, Greg, in the chat. Is that the real Dwayne Johnson? Are you friends with Dwayne Johnson? I wish. <laughs> I wish. Maybe it is the real Dwayne Johnson. Hi, Dwayne Johnson. Love your work. I mean, I do as well. It's great to have you in the chat. Yeah. How's how's it going? How's filming movies going, Dwayne? <laughs> you know, you just did? the casual filming those movies. Yeah. How's like being a star going? Is it cool? Yeah, it's definitely the real Dwayne. <laughs> 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 because now he's realized that despite him having named himself, we've all discovered who he is, and he just he just goes to. He's like, nope. See, right now he's freaking out. Like, oh gosh, I didn't think they'd actually think I'd use my actual name. They're onto me. I know, yeah, it was supposed to be reverse psychology, like, the surely he wouldn't just put Dwayne Johnson, it must not be Dwayne Johnson, but we're on to you, Dwayne Johnson, we know it's really you. It's the perfect so, ruse, you know, hiding in plain sight. It is. If you're dealing with people that are less intelligent than us three. Oh. Yeah, well, we sussed it. Oh. More, more yeah. cat naming. Oh, we've got a, oh, you can all stare affectionately. So oh, what... do that, do that, stare, stare. <laughs> I should probably say, so what you can do here is I've got a side quest at the moment where I have to find like a phantom ramen stool. And so far, the rumors are that cats will lead you to where this ramen stool is. So I've got to befriend, befriend, bleh, befriend some cats. And this one I already called Pickle. That's why I was just so you've got to, you know, to, to make them love you more, you've got to remember their names. And then you get a choice of what you want to do to love them. So I'm going to let's stare affectionately. Oh, God. <laughs> I've never done this before. Is that is that you, Greg, doing performance capture there? Did they ask you, Greg, can you yeah, please is. stare affectionately at this camera, please? Yeah, but they just put a cheeseburger in front of it, so that's what <laughs> Please love the burger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Scar Zero is saying, hey Greg, what's your favorite game other than Judgment, of course? Uh, Scar, my new favorite game, other than Judgment, because it always changes. Like, my standby is Skyrim. I just come back to Skyrim all the yes, time. Yes, yes. But um, Ghost of Tsushima is super <gasps> fun. Oh, man. Yes, and I've got to say, Greg, as well, you were recently in the new I, DLC. I was, and I, yeah, and I played it just so I could, you know, show my viewers on Twitch, like, hey, you know, I'm playing this character. But the game itself is is amazing. Hey, Barry, one of my mods is here. Hey, Barry, what's going on? Hello, Barry. Hi, Barry. Um, uh, the, uh, the the game, the combat, like it's really, it looks beautiful. It's super satisfying to kill people. Like it's perfect. It is amazing. Are you have you played the? Is that the PS5 director's cut, Greg? That you've been uh, enjoying? I got the director's cut, but it was for PS4 because it was before I got my PS5, which I got right. just for Lost Judgment. Oh, wonderful. Yes. So how how far are on you Friday. on on the DLC or on Ghost of Tsushima? Sorry, not specifically the DLC. Oh, I finished. I mean, I, I didn't do many side quests or anything, so I'm definitely gonna replay it at some point, just because it's just because it's super fun to hack and slash people to pieces. So I'm gonna in the game, not in real life. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to do that in real life, Rob. I love how you pointed out Rob specifically. <laughs> Have you been researching on the channel? I don't either. I don't either. I have no idea. Right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know you don't. I know yeah. you don't. He only does it in video games. And yeah, then every right. now and then in real life. So, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I those. I mean, I've had, I've gone through phases. Gears of War, Dead Space is one of my favorites. Uh, you know, Mass Effect, obviously. Um, Dead Rising back in the day. That game is hilarious. What do you think of the? Have you seen the the Dead Space remake trailer, Greg? What do you think of it? It looks what? amazing. Dead Space One. Yeah, yes. Oh, have you not seen? Is this is this news to you? Oh man, it looks oh. so good. You've got to check it out. After the stream ends, they're doing a they're doing a PS5 remake of Dead Space. I didn't you imagine that, did I, Rosie? Did that, no, did no, I yeah, that? it was announced. <laughs> it, yeah. It look oh, it looks amazing. So yes, yeah, a full-on oh remake of Dead Space One. 
All right, well, that's going to be on... Uh, I'm going to stream that for sure. I can't even believe you just said that to me. <laughs> I don't know when it's coming out yet. Um, I think it's still quite early in development. Yeah, I don't um, think that anything's pretty... been said. But we had a, yeah, a sneaky matter. trailer. That's all I'm living for now. But it is coming. All right, I'm going to have to find the trailer. Ooh, a truck! A food truck. Wait, did you get ice cream? I don't think you can get ice cream with this one. So sometimes with these food trucks, you know, they can give you some really good items. Um, so I was like, oh, what can I get here? But I already bought Fantasy Zone for uh, Fantasy Zone for my master system back at Yagami's office. And I also bought this uh, skateboard. So I was just like, oh. What kind of a wacko <laughs> sells pet food and paint out of a van? <laughs> and a skateboard. And a skateboard. Yeah. And a video game. Right. He's like, this is what people need. I'm going to be a variety vendor. What? <laughs> Hello, I'm here for your daily needs. Would you like my skateboard? <laughs> Greg, he's like the Bellathor of... of yeah, that's right. Everything's for sale! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> How pissed would you be if you walked up to that thing and asked for either ice cream or tacos and he said, I have paint, skateboards, and, and, and pet food. <laughs> yeah, do you have anything I... edible, sir? No, but I have pet yeah, food. I... Do you eat pet yeah, food? Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. I would, I would destroy that place. <laughs> right there and then. How dare you have pet food? I wanted a burger. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what we need to have a mini game where Yagami had like. Remember when in Street Fighter Two Turbo, like coin op arcade, where uh, Blanca would like wreck the car, and like you basically had like thirty seconds to wreck this car. Oh, not just Blanca. He was just easy because you could electrify the whole thing. But the whole point of this little mini game in the middle of the Street Fighter was to just destroy this car. I guess that's kind of the same when he just destroys the shop in uh what do you call it but a car would be cool or like a semi you like just break the headlights and just make a big old mess of it that'd be awesome i have That's no it. idea what you're referring to i'm afraid but that sounds <laughs> brilliant it's interesting it's interesting you should say that though greg because one of the questions we had from our community from kieran phillips was if you could add any type of crazy mini game you wanted to lost judgment that isn't there already Whoa. um what would it be and why and i guess you've just you've just answered that unless yeah, now you know would, the question well, you're like, I changed Although, my mind. Yeah, now I know the question. Now my mind has been open. I mean, I think, like, destroying some large everyday object would be super cool. Like a, uh, you know, yeah, like a truck or a car transporter or, like, uh, I don't know. It would, it would also be really cool. You know what the answer is? Craps. If I could add any craps. game, mini game to, to this franchise, it would be craps. What's yeah. craps? What's craps? What are you talking about, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What's crabs? I, I, thought heard of this. I thought you were saying crabs as in like the, the animal or the mammal. No. What crabs is? as in like as, a, as in like Wait Rob, you're you're kidding, right? You don't you don't know what crabs is. I know what a crap is. <laughs> How old are you, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sorry, do you just... know what blackjack is? Yeah, yeah, I know what blackjack is. Yeah, you don't know what craps is. I don't know I've what never, it is I've either. Never, I've never heard of craps, but I, I don't know if I'm like craps in the US. I suppose I should just keep UK, asking you because I think it's well established. It's you've making not... me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just, just, okay, chat. Does anybody in chat not know what craps is? I'm so excited to hear what this is. You nearly made me lose. You, lose wait, control. Rosie, you don't know what craps is? I don't know what it is. And you nearly made me lose saying, control keep of saying craps. Keep saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it's an American thing. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You're off the hook. Please, please I just thought you, you were strange. I mean, we are strange anyway, but <laughs> in America, Greg, does do you have the word crap as a slang word for poo as well, like we do What's here? What's poo? What is that? <laughs> Feces. <laughs> Don't I snort it? <laughs> This poo thing you're speaking of. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, yes, of course, we, you know, crap, you know, this dog crapped on my lawn or this bird yeah. crapped on my car or my yeah. cat crapped in my eye. You know, like we say that all the time, <laughs> especially the last one. <laughs> and you don't have my cat. <sighs> so. Oh, my God. So what's this wow. game? What is this legendary game? What do you do? So is it like Blackjack, you oh. said? It's, it's, a good, it's a dice game in the casino and you roll dice and you place bets as to what what the dice are going to come up with and it's incredibly social and super amazing and i would love to be able to play it without actually losing money which i do used to when i go to casino. so if it were a mini game i wouldn't really care just like when i play mahjong i don't really care that i'm losing except for like you know just the ego part of it but 
That's what I would add. But that's oh, not really, it doesn't really answer the question because it's not really a crazy game. Yeah. I mean, it's whatever mini game you want to add in. Well, right now, we're just flying a drone through rings. <laughs> well, you know, so and this I'm, was kind of crazy. I've this, just been sort yeah. of mesmerized by it whilst we've been talking about craps. Um, but what is this game, Rose, that you're playing? Well, so this is a drone race, and you did have drone racing in the first game. However, now we can do it. So in the first game, you only could do it in Camarocho, but now we can do it in uh, Injincho. So that's why I thought I'd do it as well to show, like, woo, oh. we're, we're racing in a new area now. <laughs> and I got a motivator shirt, so good old bit of motivation as well. Nice. Oh, Pretty oh. cool. Oh, and England is known as Dice. So it's in the casinos. It's just called Dice, not Craps. I see. All right. You're forgiven, both of you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your forgiveness, I enjoyed, Greg. I enjoyed that discussion, though. I did enjoy my, that. My, my finger's been hovering over the leave call button, like hang up button, but I've now withdrawn it. <laughs> they don't know what craps is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last time I appear on this channel. <laughs> Share this type of company, I won't. <laughs> don't know what it is. I don't know why I associate myself with them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're all talking like this. Um, Emmanuel says I sound kind of like Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Is he? Really? Is, is Ryan Reynolds in your repertoire of? Um, Not really. I was hired once to do a Ryan Reynolds like impression for like, really? a Deadpool kind of impression, and <clears throat> I guess he is kind of similar to my normal voice. I usually just kind of lighten him up a bit and kind of Ryan Reynolds does this thing. Now you oh, mention it. Now weird. you mention it. That is really good. A I little can, bit. I, can, I mean, I it's... can hear that now. I can definitely hear the Ryan Reynolds Deadpool voice there for sure. But but there's that whole like there's a whole school of guys like Ryan Reynolds, Jason Bateman, like they're all in this same sort of just like mid baritone kind of light production voice guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm sorry to interrupt those, you, Greg. But yeah. Oh my God, look at that water. That wow. oh, that's some of the that's up there. That's really up there with some of the best I've seen, especially with the, just the reflections of all the buildings as well. That's amazing. Yeah, oh, and like, and I the just, motion too, yeah. I sort of like just casually walked over here like, ooh, while you're talking about your lovely stuff, I was like, here's some lovely water. I'm gonna take a picture with by it. That, that is so good. Look at the, <laughs> look at this light sparkling off that down there. Oh, that wrong, is awesome. wrong buttons. Anyway, sorry, sorry to interrupt you there, Greg. Just no, not at all. <laughs> I'm happy to marvel that. at the game. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we should have you do the voice instead. <laughs> Hello, my look, look at him. I've been up for 36 hours. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of this guy. No, no, no. And now I'm going to beat up these punks. You ruined my picture. Yeah. Oh, oh. I've drank a lot of Red Bull in the last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at, the, look at the ripples on that guy when he's been thrown in the water. <laughs> know, that's, that's so awesome. good. Oh, my God, he's so good. <laughs> Hang on, that calls for a picture. It does. Ooh, picture. Selfie. Selfie with oh, a doing now. A I mean, he's... Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to have to tilt down for this one. He's in a he's in a bad place now, isn't he, that guy? I mean, <laughs> you're <laughs> taking a photo with a drowned <laughs> man. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. No! I was just about to snap the picture and he decides to fall in the lake or river. Oh my gosh. So disrespectful, Rosie. I was just trying to, you know, make friends with someone who was swimming right. in the lake. Sure. Yeah, he was fine. prefer a picture than a helping hand. <laughs> we just had a little scuffle and then I just let him, you know, cool off in the river a bit. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of his own fault. He kind of had it come. Excuse me. Yeah, I was taking a picture and then, you know, they started the fight. The way that Yagami looks right now reminds me, I just saw Logan for the first time the other night, and Hugh Jackman oh, is looking such a, like so it. Good, isn't it? Just film. so ragged for most of the movie, and by the end you're like, oh, like you almost feel uncomfortable watching him run around. That's what Yagami looks like right now. That's some that's some film though, isn't it, that Logan? I it love is. that film. I don't think it I've seen so... it. Oh, it's good, Rosie. It's yeah, really it's good. unexpected. Like I, I was yeah. watching it going, like this mood and everything is not what I expected. It it's not like any other... Girl. Yeah. Amazing. I think, um, I can't remember the actress's name, but she's also Lyra, I think, in um, the BBC production of His Dark Materials. I don't know if you've seen oh. that. Oh. Well, um, now, she is, uh, she is an English actress, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she's very good in Logan very and Dark cool. Materials. Yeah, so she's, thought... she's amazing. 
Thought we could do with a with a bit of golf as well, so that's why I'm just getting involved in golf land. Whoa, you gotta this do golf. Oh my gosh, I freaking love golf mini games. I'm not I, even kidding. I love golf mini games as well. Like literally, I'm just like, oh, I did really badly there. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. Ooh. But, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I wouldn't call it terrible. It, it, it was, was terrible. There were, like, Are you trying to get a hole in one, Rosie? No, it's closest to the pin. So I, I oh. didn't, I didn't consider the the wind. That's why that was my problem. And I also just didn't have a very straight shot. I'm, I'm very disappointed by my performance there. So let's plan for this. Yeah. One. No, it's okay. You just didn't consider the wind or any other factor that goes into a ball. <laughs> so, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm blaming you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, also they, my streams like... are just going to be golf game and boxing mini game. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to the boxing mini game because back in the day, the punch out uh, coin up. Now, before Mike Tyson punch out anything like that on Nintendo, there was a coin op game called punch out um in oh, in so in the close. arcades and i was a freak for that game so boxing mini game yeah i, was gonna, I haven't unlocked the boxing mini game yet because i believe um i should probably say as well in, in lost judgment you basically are like an advisor at a school and because of that you sort of help out lots of different clubs that i've only unlocked two but i believe you get lots of different mini games with them so i'm believing the boxing will be part of that so i'm presuming oh my gosh that's exciting that's I, exciting. I, we are going to be doing some lovely little yeah. dancing. I'm doing really bad this golf game. I'm going to redo <laughs> it when, when I'm done with this round. I'm redoing it. But yes, we will be doing some smooth dance moves. <laughs> okay, this is a shot. I can tell. Right. Oh, I've gone over already. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> oh, it's, you've got like a... That's good, Rosie. No, Almost. Yeah. That's pretty good. No. Daphne Keen. Daphne Keen is the... Um, that's right. The actor's name. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Got a bit of wind, so giving it a bit of that way. And, but, oh, God, I'm late. I'm late today. That looks, that looks good, Rosie. That's good. Ooh. Oh, just outside. Almost. This reminds me of the driving ranges in Koreatown here in LA. Like in the middle of Koreatown, there's like a random driving range like this that's contained. Do you have like. Koreans love their golf. Do you have like space invaders blocking your path as well? I don't think so. I'm going to have to go double check. <laughs> And if not, I'm going to suggest it. Excuse me, your golf course is great, but it could... Oh, no! But it could really do with some... Ooh. Well, oh! Well, there you go. You've hit, you've hit Saturn there. <laughs> I hit Saturn. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, booty. Yo, Boots. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't call Boots booty in, in this chat. But Boots TX, Fight Night with De La Hoya and Roy Jones Jr., that's what I'm talking about. Fight Night round two. Oh, okay. Did I tell this story last year about, my, about having to go to the doctor because of video games? <laughs> no. I... Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, well, even if I did, I'm going to tell it again. So, yeah. fight, okay, Xbox, the first Xbox, Fight Night Round 2. I played that game. It was, I was out of work. I had just gotten out of grad school. I didn't have much going on in my life. And so I played that game probably until 5 a.m., night after night after night. And I get really stressed in boxing games because, you know, you're fighting. You want to get hit. So, so I was grasping the controller so intensely and doing all of these motions to punch and dodge that one morning... After about doing this for about two weeks, this binge, I woke up and I couldn't open my fingers. So oh God. they were stuck in like this claw controller clutching like <laughs> position. And if I actually pushed my fingers with my other hand to try and open them up, it was excruciating, right? It was like somebody was like slicing my fingers with a knife. So I went to the doctor with these claw hands and I'm like, hey, uh, so can you do something about this? Like, is this normal? And he's just like, um, no. And he said, you, you've got like, basically he said, you've got acute tendonitis. I'm going to give you these anti-inflammatories and, and then you take these for a, like a, you know, for a week and you'll be fine or 10 days. And he said, now, is there anything you've been doing lately that you can think of that might be contributing to this condition? And I was like, maybe <laughs> he's, I'm like, I've been playing this video game and he's like, yeah, okay, stop that. Don't do that anymore. So Just stop, I've sir, never please. had, yeah, I've never had an experience like that since, but it was it was almost worth it. It's such a good game. It was such a good game. Roy Jones Jr. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had to go to the hospital or doctors for playing a game. I think that's yeah, that, that's one I've managed to avoid so far in my life. Keep, keep it that way. It's not. I'm not <laughs> proud of it. I'm really not. I mean, we, should talk, we, should, we should talk about your um, work on um, 
lost judgment, Greg. We've not, yes, I've, not I've not really asked any serious questions yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the most obvious question, I guess, was um, what was it like returning for the sequel? And did it feel any different to the first time? Did you feel more pressure or less pressure? Was it easy to slip back into the role? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was for sure easy to slip back into the role just because, like, I don't know. I, I Like, in my unhealthy mind, like, I am him in my everyday life. Just much less <laughs> fighting in blood. So, like, I, uh, when I heard that there was a sequel, I mean, obviously I flipped out. And it's like, this, working on this game and being this character is, I, I'd be surprised if it didn't, like, on my deathbed and I thought about my work, that I wasn't thinking, like, thank God I had that, right? Because this is really, you know, it honestly is the most special thing that I've ever, it's, it's going to be the most special thing of, uh, of my career, the pinnacle of my career, in my own mind, right? And so, hearing that there was a sequel, first of all, was an amazing amazing moment and then when i got to go back in like it was the same team it was the same studio scott was there keith was there you know and just being able to play more with this guy it's just like what it's a dream come true i could do this character for the rest of my life and be totally totally happy you know so um it was just it's nothing but good nothing but good and just just joyful you know what i mean oh. Oh, if ever there's another cool. one, which it looks like chances are slim, but if ever there's another one, I will, you know, I will move heaven and earth to, to be there to do it. I mean, I guess you must have known, and this is an, sort of ties into another question that I've always wanted to ask. Um, when you were doing the last stream with, with us, you must have already have done work on or been working on the sequel already. Um, so how hard is it to keep really exciting things a secret? And do you just want to be like, because I, I, I would be like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm desperate to tell people that I'm working on this cool thing. Like, how hard is it to keep secrets like that? Are you, you keeping secrets now? Are you <laughs> working on something like amazing right now that you can't talk to us about? <laughs> yep. I'm going to provide a distraction. <laughs> Thanks for saying oh. <laughs> um, That's like my version of a smoke bomb whenever I get confronted with questions that are uncomfortable. Thanks for sale. Um, I, um, for some reason for me, it's not hard to keep secrets at all. I don't know if I'm just too ADD to like, um, literally ADD to, uh, sort of focus on one thing and kind of obsess about it to the point that I've got to get it out there or if I'm mm -hmm. so easily distracted, but I don't find it very hard to, yep. to just sort of let something go and wait for its time, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't, generally I don't really have much of a problem with that. Nice. Which is good because if you slip up and you put yeah. something out there that you shouldn't, I mean, you're in big trouble. Yeah, I mean, I've never. Yeah, I can imagine yeah. the amount of grief you would get. <laughs> the amount of jobs you would no longer have. <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, of course, even more seriously. <laughs> Not even yeah. a, a little slap on the wrist. It's like, oh no. <laughs> Whoa, Rosie, you are killing this baseball game. Yeah. Look at this. This is what, I, Rosie, did, you did this in the last stream, I remember. It just came on here and you didn't you smack like seven home runs in a row oh, or something ridiculous? Oh. I, I did a lot better in, I think, the last stream than in this stream. But I got a rank A, so you know, I did better than golf. Amazing. I'm still sad about my golf performance. I might come back for some golf. <laughs> but I'm like, no. No, we can't do the whole stream of golf because I'm also going to play Sonic the Fighters in the arcade because that is something else that was added to Lost Judgment. And we're going to play Sonic the Fighters because I played it on PS2 an awful nice. lot when I was a kid. So it's actually in, it's in this game? Yeah. So here, here cool. we go. We're going to go play some Sonic the Fighters. That is very cool. Oh, yes. Can you believe I've never played a Sonic game? <gasps> really? Oh. I know. I've never played a Zelda game. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's too, you know, <laughs> that, that's too real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Erica. I have to make it a point to say hi to my Twitch, uh, my Twitch regulars. Oh, it's of course, nice of course. To see them in another form. Hello, Erica. Thank you for joining us here on PlayStation Access. Woohoo! Woohoo! So you're saying that there's a Sonic fighting game? Yes. So I can't remember what. I'm sure the chat can correct me. I can't remember what it was originally on, but um, so basically on PS2 you had. Well, at least I, I grew up with them with Sonic, the Sonic Mega Collection and the Sonic Gems Collection. And this is how I played a lot of the older Sonic games. And one of them on the Sonic Gems Collection was Sonic the Fighters, which is like a no really way. old arcade game. And we're, we're going to, I'll show you the world of Sonic the Fighters right now. What, right now? Yeah, we're, we're going to go play it. Yeah. It will be your first, your first Sonic experience. 
is Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> wow, this is pretty cool. I mean, I won't it's pretty lie. Amazing. It's pretty amazing, Greg, that a character you have voiced is about to play a Sonic game before you've played a Sonic game. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. It's I, not I even wasn't like... going to spell it out like that, but yeah, it's true. Right, which one? Oh, look at this place. Look at this! It's got. It's even got the bikes. Can you go on the bikes, Rosie? Yeah. So this is like oh, a. Oh my is, God! I remember those bikes. This is a little corner <laughs> arcade, but this is the one in Ijin Cho, which has got Sonic the Fighters. There's also a Sega arcade, which we can have a look in as well. I'll show you the games that you can play there too. But this is the one which yes. is in over here. It's got Sonic the Fighters, 100 yen to play. So we're we're going in. <laughs> Work can wait. Patrick's here. Hey, Patrick. What's up, Patrick? Oh, this is so good. Look at this. And then oh look, gosh. it's like the full on. <laughs> what the heck? There he is. Dr. Robotnik. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. I was trying to skip. And then He's here we go. about to encounter this very functional and operational Death Star. The He's egg got the carrier. Em He's, <laughs> He's got the Emperor in his repertoire as well. I love it. <laughs> Who would you like me to be? Who shall I be? We've got a, uh, I think, well, you've got to be Sonic, right? Right, I've got Sonic. to be Sonic. Sonic. The main man. I'm really hoping at some point during the stream, Greg, we're going we're gonna to hear Arnie again. Because oh I did gosh. love that. I love that last Arnold time. is never far away. <laughs> He's always in our hearts. Oh, I've got to remember He's the controls now. Me, wherever I go. <laughs> oh, no, you're seeing stars. I know. I'm trying to remember the control. Big slap, Knuckles. Take that. Nice. <laughs> Oh, wow. well, okay. that sound! That sound is so iconic, isn't it? The coin, the rings. Sorry, coming out. The, I remember the, when the Sega... graphics are so good. I can't tell the difference between this and the new Virtua Fighter. <laughs> I know, right? So crisp and clean of Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> now, when Sega announced that this was going to be in uh, Lost Judgment, I was for Sonic's 25th anniversary. I was so extremely happy. Like, honestly, I think I was in my flat and I just was like, I had to stop everything I was doing just to say, oh my God, Sonic the Fighters is coming to Lost Judgment. I can't believe it. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's how I would feel if, like, Dig Dug or Mr. Do got put in here. I love Dig Dug. I play <laughs> it on PS4 game. all the time. I'm trying to get the <laughs> platinum for it, but I've got two trophies that are just being a pain in the butt. What are? What do you have to do? What are they? So I've got to... Kill, I think it's 100 enemies in a single run, as in like without dying. Oh and my then, gosh. Uh, and then I need to also remove 100. Like, you know when you're digging around? Yeah. I need to remove like bit of 100 bits of dirt in one run as well. So I'm trying wow. to do them at the same time. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> yeah. Divide and conquer, Rosie. But honestly, I love Dig Dug. Dig Dug is my... I, I just love... I love my Dig Dug. <laughs> oh, the arcades. How I miss them. Now, even now when you go to like a live arcade, they're all like these fancy... God, it sounds so old. But they're all these fancy new games and all the old like, you know, classic coin-op ones that were super janky and took like 4K of RAM to like to play. They're all gone. Well, all of them. I thought... I would have thought that may hopefully they kept some of them. Well, you get like Pac-Man and you get like the standards, but you know, actually there's an arcade in Pasadena where they have Popeye, which is pretty awesome. And Tempest. There's, there's got to be like places that their whole business has got to be. We have the yeah, classics, retro we bar. have the old school retro stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, this is like my, if I were ever to become rich, which would be super awesome, there's this like stand-up machine you can get that has like 10,000 ROMs in it. It's, it's like got controls for every game possible. Like there's paddles, there's like your Street Fighter joystick with six fighting buttons, there's like trackball, everything on it. And you can just load up like 10,000 games from like track and field to punch out to, you know, Omega Race, whatever, Phoenix, all these crazy old games, you know? Pretty exciting. Amazing. Someday. I always get list. I always get really excited whenever I see like, a, like you know, a, a, an original like arcade machine for something like, I mean, Ideally, I'd love to own, if I, again, if I was super rich, I would love to own one for Tekken Tag Tournament, like an original arcade oh. machine for that. And I remember once I saw like a, um, like a place which just had a Tekken Tag Tournament unit and I was just like, oh my God, I, I need this. I need this. I don't care if it's not going, if it won't fit in the flat. I need this right now. <laughs> and those, those booths, they're no joke. They're like 
I mean, there's a, a retro arcade store that sells them actually here in uh, Glendale near me. And they start at like $900 for like the dipshittiest worst game that you would never play ever. And then as you get into things like Tron and like cool ones, I mean, it's like twelve, thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred dollars so yeah that's the thing like if you got one for a good deal you are so insane it's like when i see like you know collectors like here's my wall of them i'm like oh, how much money <laughs> oh now i can't think of anything else i'm always reminded of that friends episode where is it chandler gets one he does i think so yeah and oh, I... in his office or something no he puts it in the middle of the flat and monica's <laughs> mad monica's mad about it but then she gets really into it and is obsessed with setting the highest score. Oh, that's right. Don't unplug it. I love that show. I've only seen a couple of episodes of Friends. I guard Rosie. Rosie's so young. What? Oh, no, no, the thing, loads of people, are, like when I was at school, loads of people started watching it. It was just something I just didn't watch. And even today, I have so many friends and stuff who were like referencing the show and stuff. And it's just something I've never fully watched. I've seen the episode with Phoebe and some cookies or something like <laughs> oh, grandma's yeah. cookies oh no i'm yes. gone her her uh the, the well, what did she say i said oh nestle no to lose <laughs> for her uh the recipe nestle toll house pronounced like with the french accent i can't remember that's the i've only seen the episode once but whenever people are just like oh friends i'm like yes phoebe's grandma's cookies <laughs> i know you i know you fellow kids <laughs> now the best episode for me my favorite is the one with ross's sandwich it's amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you seen the um, the YouTube clip where they, they take away the canned laughter and replace it with an ominous soundtrack, and it basically turns it into, like, a horror movie? Really? Where he, get, he gets, you know, the scene where he gets mad with his co-worker about yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. the sandwich. Oh, it's great. Gosh. It turns it, it makes it seem really sinister. And it's amazing right. the effect that just taking the laughter away has. Sorry, someone in the comments is taking the mick out of my pronunciation of Chandler Chandler. Sorry, Chandler. <laughs> well, no, but Elle McPherson pronounced it that way, the UK way, on the show. So, you know. The UK way. Yeah. The UK way. We do things here the UK way. <laughs> how many Chandler. times have you um, come to the... How many times have you come to the UK, Greg? I've been to London w the one time for the Judgment Tour. <gasps> what did you think? Did you like it? Oh, my gosh. I loved it. Are you kidding? Um, Sarah and I and... Um, a couple of the other folks who were who were kind of uh, ushering me around that whole time we went to this some fancy hotel where they had like a cigar bar and we had just it was the night before oh. i left and it was the most lovely like chill spiritual ass experience i've had in forever it was so wonderful and i didn't get to see much of the city because we were just like running around for you know for events and stuff like that the whole time i didn't really get to do anything so i would love to come back you know and just be a tourist for a while you know not an annoying american tourist but like one of the good ones you know what i mean I one of the uh, good ones <laughs> yeah. I said, it's yeah, one yeah. of those places where you can't do everything you want to do in a day or even in a trip like that's yeah, just... exactly exactly so you yeah, need a long someday. weekend a long weekend for sure just walk around sure, london, sure. the good thing about london is that the actual central bit is small enough that you can walk around it yeah like, yeah, over yeah, yeah a couple of days and then see all of the sites and Catch oh my gosh, we went to this or... restaurant that was like an, it was like an Indian brunch place. What's it called? D it was a one word D name. Ishum? And it, yes. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> yes. I loved Ishum. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was like, what did we get? We got some kind of like breakfast jelly naan. It was ridiculous. It was amazing. What are we doing here? So are you this... going to dance? Yeah, we're, we're my our gentlemen. We're Who's about ready to see for a groovy time. We're about to see um, the mocap dancing that you did, Greg. Oh my gosh! Yeah, all of it. Definitely so me. This is one of the clubs you can help. So this is the second club I've sort of unlocked, and this is where we've got some dance practice. Mm-hmm. So I might have to go silent for a bit as I focus on, you know, rhythm game stuff because it's hard to do rhythm game when you're talking at the same time. But <laughs> this is what we stream for. Oh, look how I, cool. Oh my look gosh. at that cool <laughs> outfit. <laughs> so Ryan, far. I'm in Los Angeles, Ryan. Yeah. Pretty cool. What outfit oh, should I go? Yeah. Let's go for the cool outfit. Uh, so, yeah, you've got like different mood sets you can do, and each of them have their own sort of perks, like uh, 
for locking A, for example, your groove gauge will fill more easily. Any button counts as a hit and all hits become perfect. So I'm going to go with just the lock selection because that's what I've already got. But you've also got freestyle and popping, which just gives you some more dance moves. Like <laughs> you can preview them there. Rosie doesn't take this too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we must have the best dancers and the best performance I've ever seen. This is fantastic. And then oh my gosh. we could do Let's Dance. Or long drill on the beach. Which one would you like Can't me to wait. do? Uh, long drill on the beach. All right, let's do that, and I'll put it on normal. Okay, yes. Let's go. And this is when <laughs> I become a dancing person. Gosh, this is amazing. Uh, Devin says, uh, "How would I feel about singing karaoke for the the games?" Absolutely, I'll sing anything. Well, you It'll did. Um, I mean, I, not well, but I mean, I'll do it. It'll be hilarious. You did back in a tie in um, like a dragon. I did. Yes. I keep hearing this. I keep hearing about this famous song. I yeah, I, I think I said uh, in the last stream it was the yeah. Dami Dane song. A lot of people refer to it <laughs> as. What would be, Greg? What would be your preferred karaoke song? If you could pick any song. Oh my gosh! Um, or would you be confident in in pulling off? I don't know if I'm ever fully confident as a singer. I mean, I used to play and sing in a restaurant, right? And I'm actually bringing that back to my stream. I'm doing piano bar streams where I'll just oh, take nice. requests and stuff. Um, but it's all for fun, right? So I, I don't know, some Elton John, something or another, or like Billy Joel. Like but that's sort of what I grew up on on the piano. You know what I mean? Which Elton John would you do? I only asked because I, I, I did karaoke um, a while ago, and I remember there was quite a few Elton John songs there, so I was just like, mm, Elton John karaoke. <laughs> I like doing uh, Tiny Dancer, and I like doing like uh, Candle in the Wind and Don't Let the Sun Go Down. I mean, like those, you know, staples. Classics. Classics. Have you seen Rocket Man? I have not. It's I heard it was really good. It was, um, but... yeah, the I'm really bad at remembering actors' names. The guy who plays El um, Elton John, he's he's so good in it. He's so oh, good. right. Um, he's in... Oh, it's the guy from Kingsman. Someone in the comments will tell me his name. Very famous actor. I would love to see Colin Firth playing Elton John, like a young Elton John. It'd be hilarious. Colin Firth's amazing. He was in Kingsman. Yes. A great duo. <laughs> made a great duo with... The guy whose name is on the tip of my tongue is Taron Egerton. Egerton, Egerton. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, yes, yes. Taron Egerton. Can we take a moment to see how amazing, say how amazing Rosie is at this game? <laughs> you did very well. <laughs> very good dancing, Rosie. Oh, very good. You made me blush. No, I'm trying. I, I know that, you know, when I get further in the game, I'm going to want everything to be an S rank. But, um,. But yeah, then like when you do the dance move, or when you do the dancing, at least for this club, you get like yeah. a little story coming up as well. Uh, so at the moment, these girls are about to go into a dancing contest. So right now, I think they're saying like, oh, we're going to be ready for the dance club competition now. But our competition had a really good video and it's done so many views. <laughs> so it's all just, I mean, yeah, I mean, Yagami isn't usually got all these cuts and bloods down, blood down his face. Usually he's a, he's a bit more not covered Put in together, blood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Boot says there's an amazing dueling piano bar on 6th Street in Austin, Texas. I love dueling piano bars. I was actually training to work at a dueling piano bar here in Hollywood um, before I got this other gig, uh, a composing gig, and I had to choose between the two because I didn't have time to do them both. But uh, that whole like hanging around the piano, just like everybody drinking and singing, that's like my happy place. I remember once. That sound amazing. Uh, I think my uh, once my uh, we were at a bar and my boyfriend just started playing something on the piano and then a guy came and sat next to him and was like, "Hey, you should play this," and he got like you know really embarrassed because he wasn't a piano player. He was like, "Oh no, it's okay, I'm fine." And then we found out later that he was a, a composer for a music game. Um, no way. And then we were just like, "Oh man, I would have jumped in that piano seat and been like, hey, I don't play piano, but let's just hit some keys." <laughs> That is pretty awesome. We do that sometimes. Like in Vegas, we used to like, you know, everybody's drinking, having a good time. We would just like storm a piano bar and like ask the guy like, hey, can I play something? <laughs> like they're all, they're usually pretty cool. If you, I mean, if you tip them, they're like, sure. 
So it's them. always fun to just <laughs> descend upon an unsuspecting piano bar, whether it's in Vegas or on a cruise ship or whatever. I've just seen we've only got eight minutes of the stream left already. What? Um, and I real I've also realised I've only asked one of the questions from our community, <gasps> so I'm going to ask another one before let's, we run let's out hit of time. Rapid fire. Um, Mark William um, asks a question about the process of voice acting. Like, how much off script and improv are you allowed to do when you're voicing a character like Yagami? And is there like a collaboration between you and the scriptwriter and the director? Or is it all sort of quite rigid and you just do the lines that are written? It depends on what you're doing and it depends on who you're working for and what the, the nature of the project. So for commercials and promo, don't change anything unless they yep. tell you to. The default is don't change anything. Video games, stick to the script. If something strikes you as particularly brilliant that occurs to you, you can throw it out there. But you got to gauge how the client and the director and stuff reacts. If they're yeah. cool with you improving, great. If they seem to be like you know, not really acknowledging them, then you just want to pull back and stick to the script. When it comes to animation, yeah, you're encouraged, I think, within reason it's the same type of thing where you you stay on script but if you if something is particularly well you know occurs, occurs to you that would work really well you could throw it out there and then if it's uh every director's different some will enjoy more experimentation others you know get pretty tired of it easily so it's very much a um call it as you see it kind of game yeah. when you're in the session yeah when you've got a character like yagami who obviously you you know a bit and you've already mentioned earlier on how you have like a a special connection that you feel with this character. Were there any instances recording, especially the sequel, where you thought, hey, I think Yagami might say this? Or so, how, oh, how yeah. does that work? Yeah, I mean, usually what I think of, it's absurd and we all just laugh. I mean, it's not like I'm not really putting it out there to be serious. But um, there are times when it's not even like a full on new line that I come up with. It's like a word or two or like an um or like a sort of like a scoff or something that I will add just because it feels right. Yeah. And, you know, a good amount of the time that stuff is kept because it feels natural and it sounds mm. natural, you know? Yeah. Awesome. Um, Ruddy Games asks, if a Judgment TV show or movie happened, um, and if it wasn't you playing Yagami, who do you think would could play Yagami in a, in a TV show or a movie? Oh, I like that question. Gosh, I'm trying to think. I've never thought about that before. Um, huh. I'll have to I'll have to ponder that for a moment. Let, let me put that in the background. I can come back to it. I guess. It'll be you, Rob. No. It'll be Rob. Not Arnie either. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Get that down is... on the ground. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm good to glow green now. It means I'm doing snake. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's I, so good. It's honestly so good. I forgot to mention just a, a quick quick little <laughs> gameplay thing I'm going to throw in there. But with snake mode, rather than if you do an X action, usually, you know, you know, you kick someone in the face and it's epic and awesome. But you can still do that. But also, if an enemy is scared, then you can just, like, terrify them so much that they give up. So, like, for example, that guy who I just had, I twisted his arm until he started tapping the ground and then... That's what, that was when he was done with me. So that was a little touch that I just thought, hey, that's really cool as well. <laughs> I can't wait to try the new styles and stuff. It's going to be fun. They're so much fun to fight with. And then I, like I promised, I was like, this is the other arcade in Injito where you can do like um, Dead Souls over here or Hammer of oh. the Dead. This is so cool, honestly. I mean, I think I remember uh, the only Yakuza game I played is... Um, Yakuza 4, but I think I have, is this, you know, it's not, um, it's not just Judgment and Lost Judgment that have playable games in the arcade, right? It is a thing across mm -hmm. the wider Yakuza universe. Oh yeah, they Rosie, love having, yeah, they love having arcade games and everything, and um, yes. this is one of the, just, that, that's the thing I love about these games. Honestly, I've put, this is my genuine save, and I think I've put over 15 hours into it. And I'm not even, I'm thinking I'm like 20% through on the story just because I've been doing so many things on the side, like side cases. Like, I haven't even said, like, you know, you can look at your phone and you've got Buzz Researcher where you have to, you can see keywords from people on social media and get cases from there. School Diary, which is the clubs, and you can monitor how well you're doing with their side quests. Um, I mean, you've got your case file and everything over here. 
there's just, there's just so much you could do. And I've just realized we got three minutes and I haven't even shown what I promised at the beginning. There you oh, my God, oh, Rosie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. But here he is. And he's, <laughs> he's, only, he's got a lead and everything. This is so good. And then we go for a walk. Yeah, and... I have the answer. I have the answer. I think I think I would love to see John Cho play Yandere. That's my answer. I'm trying to think of... Good what... answer. <laughs> John Cho, Star Trek. He's Sulu in Star in the new Star oh. Trek reboot with uh, Chris Pine and stuff. That's where I recognize the name. I was like, I recognize the name, but what what roles he done? And yeah, oh that yeah, I can picture that. Yeah, he'd be killer. It'd be fun to see John with long hair too. This is oh, this is this has got to be one of the best dogs I've seen it's in a awesome. game. I mean, just the fact the that you've got thing. the leash is amazing. <laughs> exactly. Well, he's a little detective dog, so what he does is he, he loves looking for a mystery, so you can walk with him and he'll either find a case for you to do or he'll find, like, you know, items around and about or hidden items. But literally, I'll just walk with him and then when I feel like resistance and then he's just like, oh, I see something over here, I follow, and then we, we find something. So right now we're just having a lovely, lovely little walk right now. And it's also just very nice, like, you know, in, in a game where you're running around on your skateboard, fighting goons and stuff, it's like, no, I'm just going to take the dog for a walk. <laughs> and I should say as well, just quickly before we end the stream, because I'm just like, so many things. Um, you've also now got, hang on, goodbye, bye boy. Oh no, that was the wrong button. There we go. But um, there are also other new features as well, such as, so you've got the camera and you've got a noise amp, which you can use to identify sounds which will help you in specific cases and oh, it's like a directional no microphone from yes. Metal Gear Solid 2 basically <laughs> and also a detector as well so when you're in a case you've got like this little monitor here and it will start flashing and you could hear it beeping looking for sounds at the moment so there's just nice. loads, oh my gosh. loads of little things that they've added to make the cases just lot very much more varied and and you know just just very exciting more like detective-y which is great yeah, Domino's yeah. just asked Rosie, do you have to clean up the dog's poo? His craps. You have to <laughs> clean up his craps. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I haven't had to so far. I mean, I've only just unlocked the dog, but um, I haven't had to yet. But I think, because the thing is, he's not my dog. He's my friend's dog, but he loves detective cases so much that he likes tagging along with Yagami to solve the cases. So I'm guessing he does his business and then he comes out and solves crime with me. That's nice to know. It's nice to know he <laughs> takes care of himself first. And then, and then comes out to solve crime. Actually, Dude in Georgia has a good point. That would be a kick-ass minigame where you got to, like, do the moves right to pick up the poop. Otherwise, you get some on your hand. And then I could say, like, oh, gross. No, oh, my God. You don't. Yes. I, mean, I don't know why I'm so excited about I, the concept of picking up poop as a minigame. I'm like, yes, think, that would yeah. work. You should use your why contacts, am I bad? Greg. <laughs> get an email sent. DLC. Mini yeah, game, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's the only thing in the DLC too. That's the only add-on. <laughs> Craps. It's Fifty dollars. Craps. Mini game. So well, let's do a fight before we end the stream. Bonk. Yes, fight. Ow. Oh. I got so much sturdy plastic and used rubbers last time when I went through, and I don't think I made a single thing out of the pyroxene. <laughs> I know. Like, I've got so many things in my like in my inventory. I haven't started mixing things together yet, but um, I've just got like, you know, I'm always full on pocket tissues because I can never get enough of those on, that I pick up on the streets. <laughs> Plates. I mean, it would come food. in handy. Like if I, because by the end of the game, uh, the previous judgment, I was using like those power ups to, for combo speed and this and that. I imagine it would have been really useful in the rest of the game when I was getting my ass kicked by like Cane Man and stuff. So I think this time Lost Judgment, I think I'm going to take the power ups more seriously. Yeah. I know, I, did, I know, I'm the same actually. I'm like, I didn't use them much in the first judgment, but now I've, like, you know, I finished the game. I was just like, yeah, no, I, I think I missed out on that because on the tutorial in this game, I was just like, I forgot how much powerful these make you. They could have helped me out a lot rather than just, you know, yeah, getting yeah. beaten up and then eating a bento box and then like, there you go, I'm all better now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a plan. But I should say we've hit 6.30 now, um, so I'm afraid it's time that we start wrapping up the, this joyous no, stream. No, I don't want to go. I mean, okay, fine. Are there any like so quickly. final questions, Rob, I mean, like quick fire I, rounds? Well, I've got through all of the community ones. I've got one, another one written down that I was just going to ask Greg, and that was just, are you going to play Skyrim again when the 10th anniversary edition comes out? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me tell you something, my friend. My 
birthday is November 11th, and I'm that is the day it's being released. Your birthday so, is Skyrim Day. It is precisely. So yes, I'm gonna play that day. Um, we're gonna do some piano bar that day. We're gonna do some oh. composing and orchestrating. Like it's gonna be. I'm pretty much gonna stream all day, I'm and Skyrim there. is gonna be a big part of it. So I'll, yes, big I will yes. be there. I will be there. <laughs> all right, can't In wait. The chat. Oh my god, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'll try and join as well, definitely. Oh, that'd be lovely. I think it might be a... Oh, I was going to say it's going to be a crap time for you all in the UK, but I'm going to be streaming all day, so surely there'll be a good time. In which somewhere. case, I will definitely be there. Yes. <laughs> yes! And I'm ending it here in the VR land because I just want to say there is the VR mini game you have here as well, which is like the board game thing. However, they've added like new sort of like gameplay elements in the VR game as well. So, you know, it's, they've spiced it up a bit here as well too. They've added just oh, so excellent. many things. Added so many things. So cool. Like the lighting is so good. I can't get over the lighting on his jacket. Walking it I down. Know, yeah, good. I'm noticing it now that you're talking about it. It's really, really good. It does help that I just did, I did an epic fight in the rain, and the rain is just staying on my my lovely leathery yeah. jacket. And there's the the blue light from this place reflecting off it as well. I love stuff like that. Anyway, Amazing. Rose, you should you should wrap it up. Otherwise, I'll just <laughs> I'll just be talking about jacket lighting. Exactly. all the lighting but greg first of all thank you so much for joining us today with playing no uh, thank you thank Lost you both. judgment um for those yeah, of you not... oh sorry greg <laughs> oh no, no i was just saying thank you thank you chad thank you everyone who's hanging out and stuff this this is such a highlight for me whenever i get to do anything like this so i appreciate it so much yeah and it's a highlight of course to have you on the show and just chatting and chilling and you know having a good time it's been great uh, but for those of you who aren't aware, this has been Lost Judgment. I've been playing it on PS5 today, uh, but it's available on PS4 and PS5 from tomorrow, which is very, very exciting. Um, but also some people have already been playing it because it was on early access, but the full release is tomorrow. So hopefully this is like, you know, showing you just what you some of the things you can do in Lost Judgment. I've only scratched the surface. There are so many things you can do and um very good water very good water five out of five five that's out of five my, water. that's my review there yeah and if anybody wants to watch me uh play the game from the very beginning i am yes. streaming tomorrow starting at 10 a.m uh, los angeles time so that's i think that may be the middle of the oh no no that's like the evening Next, for the uk yeah 10 10 a.m 6 p.m here i think yeah, yeah 6 Beautiful. p.m that's a great time tea time Tea time, everyone. <laughs> Tea and Lost Judgment. So Greg Chun yeah. VA is my Twitch. So come on by. I was gonna say. I was just gonna say. Oh, if anyone like, you know, can where can people find you, Greg? Have you got a Twitter or anything as well? Yeah, I'm Greg Chun VA on Twitter, Twitch, Insta. Like it's a universal thing. Greg Chun VA. Fantastic. And um, and also yeah, just thank you everyone in the chat for being wonderful and asking questions and Domino and Oliver for being fantastic mods and also for Greg's mods for, for popping up and saying hello as well. For Dwayne Johnson, right. great to have you here as well. <laughs> yeah, have fun with your next movie. Barry, you rock. Yes, Domino Oliver, thank you so much. And I think that's everything. It's time. Are we, are we good to wrap up, gentlemen? We are. Oh. As much as I would like to hang out in this lovely lighting place. Oh. We must We must away. Well, I'm going to do... Till next PlayStation game where I get to play a lead. Yay! Till next, till next we meet. <laughs> and I'm going to do... Know, you know what? He knows what it is already. He's... Just... Just, he's so good at keeping secrets. Oh, I wish, Surely yes. What it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you all uh, next time in the... Well, just please stay tuned to the PlayStation Access channel in general because we have loads more awesome content coming up for you. And thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to do an awkward wave that no one can see, but please picture me waving right now. <laughs> Bye, all. Bye, everybody. Bye.